I'm on in. Pokemon Go. We're doing a trade. Well, I'm sitting here. Um, this is stuff I've done throughout the week up to now. And in the next episode, we'll kind of be a bit more on track, hopefully. But I finally found someone to lucky trade my uh, Galarian Yamask with so I can get the lucky Galarian Rune Arigus. So here this goes, <laughs> and then I have to buddy it and do 10 raids. Now, you don't have to have it as your buddy all the time you can just switch out to that as being your buddy and then doing a raid but as you can see 91 percent i'll take that i mean it's not like it's handy for pvp or anything but yeah it's a start i'm going to get it buddied uh, for some raids which you'll see me do one or two i've done one or two already but we'll cut to the chase in the next video so the new event at the minute is uh, the luminous legends or something like that Xerneas is now here. This is when it just struck 10 o'clock. I clicked on those two Pokemon and they disappeared because new Pokemon are here. Yes, and you're about to see a heap of shadows. There you go. You have got Swirlix. You have got... That's not Sligu. That is something else, which is quite rare. But yeah. That's what happened. Luminous Legends X. We, not Y, but X. Yeah, we got quests to do. So, uh, oh, yes, and Shiny Mew. But uh, I decided I'm gonna catch this somewhere a bit more scenic. Yeah, let's go a bit, somewhere a bit more scenic. Probably the bandstand, just cause that's where I seem to catch all the my mythicals. Except Jirachi, if you remember. Caught that at GoFest in Germany. Speaking of GoFest, that has been announced. And I am going to do my best to be there. I have tried to get it booked off at work. But no, bueno, it's full. Couldn't do it. So, collecting all of that, we're going to get a new shirt. Shiny Mew shirt. Which I won't put on for a while yet. I'm still rocking a pretty cool look as you can see. So I've got a raid coming up and I switched my buddy to Galarian Yamask. I got invited to a raid by MD Pokemon, other uh, Pokemon card YouTubers. They don't do Pokemon Go, but there's a Spritzy here. And I wanted to get that in quick, as quick as I could, because the time is ticking on getting in on that raid. <clears throat> so I'm gonna bang it with an excellent curveball throw, straight off the bat. First time I've ever thrown a ball, sorry at uh, Spritzy and we got it won it a quitter and that goes towards us catching seven fairies and it is a new deck entry I should have stuck a lucky egg on because I'm still trying to chase XP to level 48 I've done all the quests now just need to get the XP and I think I'm about a third through it so yeah we're gonna get in on this Xerneas uh, Xerneas is a fairy type it is the first fairy type legendary in the game or in Pokemon for that matter obviously um, five of us in on this as it's a fairy type you want to be using steel or poison types um, as you can see there I'm rocking a, quite a steel type um, squad because poison types I've got I haven't maxed out I have maxed out one mug but it's just not the poison types don't really get that strong for me. Uh, when it comes to raiding, they may be really good in PvP, but not um, not so much in raiding. So it's all steel types for me. As with this Heatran, I actually really need to change its fast move because it's rocking fire spin at the minute. So Xerneas is 45,899 CP, and that's not very high for a, a legendary. I don't think. I'm sure they were rocking up to about 50 something. But yeah, we're gonna go through this. We are gonna pretty much, not melt through it, but five of us got it done pretty pretty easily. As we come towards the end here, 
um, you'll notice it uses, it actually gets Giga Impact as a charge move, which is quite the beast. It's only, an, it's a normal type attack and normal isn't really super effective against anything, but um, it's a 200 point hit. So yeah, it can pretty much take out any Pokemon. <clears throat> but yeah, I was flexing in the end. I took in my shiny um, Scyzor. We got 17 balls at this bad boy. And I didn't need them. Well, not all of them. Don't ask me what Hondo is. I should always be prepared with this, but I haven't got the preparations prepared. 2102. <clears throat> it's not a hondo, um, but I do set a circle here and I must say this Xerneas is very close, you don't have to throw the ball with a lot of power at all, but I wait for its attack and it's not coming, it doesn't bother so I just go with a circle, that's how big the circle had to be, for an excellent throw, it's right at you, you just have to, and we got it first ball, all the way from the Netherlands, that's so cool, I really love this invite feature now. So there's another new Dex entry, another new Fairy type entry, and we got it there. Tackle, Giga Impact. That is no bueno. I'm going to guess you're looking at 2160 or 80 or something like that for a Hondo, because that is pants. But we got it done, and I'm going to change its name to MD Xerneas. So as far as the quests go, the Luminous Legend X quest go, I've got to defeat two more grunts. Catching this Jigglypuff will then have given me all the fairy types I needed to catch. So let's catch it. And that rewards a Clefairy. <laughs> um, I mean, they could have easily put other stuff in here, I think, but... Yeah, rewarding as Jigglypuffs and Clefairies is not so desirable. But hey, it's a quest, it's free. They haven't charged us for it. So yeah, I'm not gonna complain too much. Right then, so the last thing I gotta do is defeat two more grunts. There's none about. So on my break at work, <clears throat> I got to defeat in my very last grunt. It was a dragon bearing grunt which I thought was pretty cool and as I've got Malton as my buddy I'm wanting to get to best friends with it it's 93% I should wait for a hundo really but pff, I haven't I'm not gonna bother 93 is good enough there's not that much difference between a hundo and a 93 or a 91 even um, but a hundo is basically all that means is it can be the best it can be if it's 98% doesn't mean to say there's that much difference maybe 10 CP if that one HP difference. Do you know what I mean? So it's not worth stressing over whether it's a hundo or not. However, when it comes to IVs, I am a bit of a snob and will only go for 93 and above, unless I've only got one of this that's at 91 or something like that. If it's a lucky, I may deal with an 89, but I am a bit of a snob. But yeah, we're gonna rock straight through this. Um, so weak to wise types until actually I forgot about this until we come against this Gyarados now why are they using it I know it can get dragon moves you know it looks like a dragon but it isn't it is water and flying when it becomes uh, mega evolved it is is it water and dark or is it flying and dark it must be water and dark it doesn't become a dragon type at all in any way shape or form however Charizard does so why isn't that there because they could really be a pain for, to you if they wanted, put a Charizard in there and you've gone in with ice types. I don't want to give you his ideas Niantic so I'm sure you're not watching me anyway. And through the power of good throws we got it caught. It is 320 CP and pants but, sorry, I'm just going through some cards here as we do this. Let's get that. Let's go on to the next stage. They've given us a bag on. That's cool. And uh, then we can move to the next phase. And with the next phase, uh, phase, I will admit I have now already completed the next phase. But it's only because it's stuff that you, you don't really need to see. You've seen it all before. 
You probably have. And earn seven hearts with the buddy, purify three shadows, catch 15 fairy types. I got cracking on with that. You, you, you ain't interested in all of that, are you? Um, but the next phase is an interesting one, so I'll get cracker lacking with that in the next video. So I'm going to say bonjour for now. Um, I have got 12 10k eggs uh, on the boil. Hopefully I'll get them hatched in the next episode as well. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a like. If you like what I do, subscribe to the channel. And apart from it being a good morning, good night.